Mm, the sweet. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Musa back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a shoulders and arms workout, and I'm going to be taking you guys through it with me um, with a nice little juicy commentary. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. I do want to have a disclaimer. This workout is tailored to my needs. So don't just copy it and think that it's gonna help you get gains and whatnot. If you're a beginner, yes, it can help you out. Um, but a lot of these exercises, the reason why it's more, this workout's mainly shoulder focused than arms. My arms are already pretty big um, and my shoulders are one of my lagging parts. That's why I've tailored this program like this. So just wanna put that out there before some of you are thinking, shoulders and arms, he only did like two, three arm exercises. Um, this, this workout's tailored to my needs so just keep that in mind when you're watching this video all right let's get into it what's good guys welcome back to another commentary today we have shoulders and arms and to start off with we are doing a seated press now as you can see i am warming up warming up is one of the most important things especially during this time of year when it's winter you need to be warming up one because you're one your body's cold two if you want to be in the gym for a long time and prevent injury you have to warm up. Now, I'm one of those ones I normally warm up with the exercise. As you can see, I do like three, maybe sometimes four warm up sets before I actually get into the actual workout and make sure that my joints are lubricated in that and my body's actually warm. I can either do that or I can go do walking the treadmill for like 10 minutes or something like that. But you have to keep your body warm. Uh, here's my first working set I did. Three working sets of this weight with a rest period of like a minute. Um, I like to work out for like an hour and I'm out. I don't really like to work out for like two hours, two and a half hours. I don't see the point, um, especially for someone like I'm not competing, I'm not doing none of that. I'm just a guy that just loves training, um, loves living healthy, and just want to take care of my body. So training like three, four hours a day doesn't make sense. That's like if I was competing. Or your boy ain't competing. My man's just trying to look good, feel good, love life. At the end, <laughs> that's it. Um, second exercise, the seated lateral raise. This is my favorite machine. Um, this gym is actually like 20 minutes away from my house. Um, with I have to take three trains to get here, um, but it's worth it. <laughs> but it's only 15 minutes because the, train, the trains are so connected. Um, but I love this exercise, and the machine is on point. Um, we could usually just focus on your delts. Um, and yeah, just working your delts and don't have to focus on using momentum or anything like that. And here we're doing reverse curls so we can work on our forearms as well um, instead of just working on the biceps. As you can see, the guns are showing, the guns are pretty big, you know, shirts hugging, and that shit's XL. That's how you know your boys doing big boy numbers, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how big my arms are, but my arms have been a very big part of me. Um, here I'm doing the dip, dilla dips. Uh, normally I do dips as in just standard parallel dips, you know, um, that's what I normally do. But this one I want to do and just focus on my triceps. As you can see, look at the popping and that, that horseshoe there coming through. Nice. Um, 44 kg. Um, the other gym that I normally go to is the same brand, Fitness X now is called. They don't have weights that go up to 50. This gym actually has weight that goes up to 50 kg. And the other one only has up to 40. Yeah, 40. This is about 42 kg. So if I want to start pushing up heavier weight, um, I'm gonna have to start coming to this gym way, way more. Um, like I said, it's only, it's pretty much the same distance. Um, it's just an extra five minutes on the train. But you know, to be honest, that's pretty alright for me because it just gives me extra reading time um, to sit on the train and read my book that I'm reading right now. So I don't mind it. Here we're just doing straight bicep curls for the girls, as Chris Jones would say. Um, I would do just straight curling. And as you can notice, every, for me, everything, form, form is everything. I make sure my form is straight and I'm feeling it in the muscle that I'm meant to feel it in. Not nothing, anything else. Not my arms, not anything else. Just pure rare delts. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, this machine as well, really good. I love it. Uh, yeah, man, right now I'm just working on a lot of my weak points. As you saw me doing reverse curls for my forearms, I want to get them up. Yeah, uh, reverse pec deck. Red delts, you know what I mean? Red delts is one I feel like a lot of people neglect. Um, I've been working on my red delts for the last year and they have come up a long way. Like when I do a double bicep um, pose, you can really see that, okay, this guy's been putting in the work on his delts. Um, you know, 
know, I feel, still feel like my side laterals can do a lot more, so I might have to be adding a little bit more volume to those, a couple more reps and sets. Because I don't feel like going too heavy when it comes to lateral raises. Um, I don't think it does nothing because it compromises your form. So I rather work on my form and make sure I just give it more reps. You know? um, I feel laterals are a difficult one. You know what I mean? <laughs> Unless you're juicing to get your your side delts juicing or just genetically gifted to get your your side laterals up and rounded, it's a lot of work. <laughs> but that was it for the workout, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this little commentary, and I will catch you guys in the next video. So that is it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that workout. That was a solid workout. My body's finished. Um, I'm happy with it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And um, maybe picked up on some few new exercises. Even though, as you may have noticed, I stick to the basics. I don't really do anything like, oh, this is a new exercise. It's gonna make you make mad gains. No, keep it simple, keep it strict. Um, focus on my form, focus on the contraction and just make sure the intensity is high as well. My sessions normally last around an hour to an hour and a half at max. Um, if I'm including cardio, it can go up to two hours, um, but that's, that's just standard. Um, some people like to train longer, but the resting time and all that stuff is a bit longer. Whereas for me, my resting time is pretty short. It's around a minute at max, sometimes 30 seconds, bam, bam, bam. Um, I like to get in, get out, and then come home and do what I need to do. You know, man's got to work. Um, so knocking it out first thing in the morning, it's still something I'm getting a, a, accustomed to. Um, I'm normally usually, usually working out at like 11, 12, once I've had food in me and everything. All these workouts that I'm doing are all fasted. Um, the only thing I have in the morning is a coffee and then I go and do the thing. So yeah, of course that can make a difference, but obviously your body adapts. And yeah, I want to end the year strong. That's my main goal. So yeah, just gonna keep pushing and hopefully get the results that I'm gonna earn and deserve. Do you know what I'm saying? But yeah, again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video. Love life, love life, love life. Peace.